All right, what we're going to look at are the types of motion, and we're going to specifically look at six basic types and what they would look like on a distance and time graph. With this first graph, we're going to look at steady speed. So a couple things that I want you to make note of. On the y-axis, we're going to represent distance, and on the x-axis, we have time. Remember, we're not focused on our velocity, so velocity is speed in a certain direction. With this, we're just looking at the speed that the object is moving. We're going to say that this is our starting point down here at this dot. And I'm going to draw our line like this. If we look at this a little bit farther, what I want you to imagine is that you're on the straightaway of the track. And you're just walking forward at a steady speed. If you look at your graph, we're going to say over here is going to represent 5 meters. This is going to be 10. On the bottom, we're going to say this is 5 seconds, and this one is 10 seconds. If we look at where our 5 seconds is placed, and we go across, we're going to notice that we traveled 5 meters in 5 seconds. In the same way, we're going to look over here at 10 seconds, go across, and we're going to notice that we traveled 10 meters in 10 seconds. So if we look at this a little bit further, if we traveled 5 meters in 5 seconds, that comes out to being 1 meter per second. Same with up here, 10 meters in 10 seconds equals 1 meter per second. So you can see that our speed is steady. We're traveling one meter in one second, and it stays consistent across the entire 10 seconds. For the next one, we're going to look at rapid steady speed. You can see right now I have what we did on the last graph already on this one. So I have steady speed already graphed. Rapid steady speed is going to be represented with this green line. The one thing that you can notice about this green line is it's a lot steeper. And it and if we look at it and compare to our distance and our time on the sides, we're going to keep this at 5 meters, the top at 10, bottom at 5 seconds again, and 10 seconds. So if we go straight up from 5 seconds, on our blue line, that was our steady speed. And remember, it was 5 meters, 5 seconds. It was, very, um, it was 1 meter per second. If we continue to go up, however, and across, for our green line, which represents rapid steady speed, you're probably at about now 7 or 8 meters. So you can see in the same amount of time, 5 seconds, we're now traveling more distance. Again, it's going to be consistent, but it's faster. It's more of a rapid steady speed. The next graph we're going to look at is acceleration. And for acceleration, we want you to think of it being um, a measurement or a change in the object's velocity. So when you press down on the gas pedal in a car, the car surges forward faster and faster. This is acceleration, so that rapid speed up. The graph is going to look something like that. And if we break this down a little bit farther, you can see how this works. Again, keeping everything the same, 5 meters, 10 meters, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. In five seconds, you can see that the car did not travel very far. So in five seconds, we can imagine this maybe went three meters. However, in the next five seconds, we now went the rest of the way. So in the first five seconds, we went three meters. And in the second five seconds, we went seven meters. We traveled a lot farther of a distance. So it simply means you go from slow, five seconds, went, did not go a lot of distance, to fast. Another five seconds went a lot farther. That's acceleration, slow to fast. All right, for the next graph, we're going to look at deceleration. And we're going to represent it with this orange line. 
And we're going to also label it the same way that we've been doing the other graphs with 5 and 10 meters and 5 seconds and 10 seconds. Okay, so if we look at this graph, um, deceleration means going from fast to slow. So this would happen when you are, for example, getting off the freeway. You're traveling at a speed, for example, of 60 miles per hour, and then you need to begin to slow down. That would be deceleration. So if we look at this graph to see it a little more um, specific, if we look at 5 meters and go across and straight down. You're going to see it takes about three seconds to travel five meters. Then if we go across the top, the next five meters and go straight down you can see it takes a lot longer. In this case, probably almost nine seconds. So the first five meters, it only took three seconds. The second five meters, it took almost six seconds. So you can see the difference um, of going from fast to a slow speed, and that's deceleration. This one's one of the easiest, and it's simply no movement. So for example, if we put this on the graph and look at it specifically with our measurements, 5 meters, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. If we look straight up, in 5 seconds, they moved 5 meters. If we go up in 10 seconds, they still moved 5 meters. So this would just simply be if an object is is stationary or a person or a car is not moving, um, you would represent it with a straight line across. For the last one, we're going to look at return to start. Um, with this, you're going to be starting at a distance. So you are farther away and coming back to the beginning. So we would say if you're starting at 10 meters away, and you come back to the beginning. So similar to our deceleration one, only it's a straight line. So you can see we're moving from 10 meters back down to 0 meters in a certain period of time. So in this case, it took us 10 seconds to get back to the start, which was 10 meters away.